Before we go any further, there is one more member of the cold fusion variables family that I want to introduce to you. In this video, we will talk about the cold fusion arrays. Now, an array is also a complex data type. So, just like a structure, it is a variable that stores multiple pieces of data under a single variable name. But the difference between a structure and an array is that in an array, data are indexed. Now, what does that mean and how can we create those arrays? To create those arrays exactly like structures, we have two notations, the implicit and the explicit notation. For the explicit notation, you will use a bunch of CF set statements. And the first one here, CF set A colors equal array new, creates an empty array. And you see that to create an empty array, we have to use that array new function of call fusion. Now we have three more uh, CF set statements and we add into that array three pieces of data, the red at index 1, green at index 2, and blue at index 3. To do exactly the same using the implicit notation, we use a single CF set statement. And you see that we use here uh, square brackets. So the square brackets are for arrays and the curly braces are for structure. If I use CF dump to dump those arrays, I will have that result here one variable that contains three pieces of data that are indexed. You see one equal red, two is green, and three is blue. Now, of course, we can also manipulate those arrays using functions, cold fusion functions. And we have a lot of functions in cold fusion to manipulate arrays. Here are some of them. We have the array append function that adds the specified value at the end of the array. So if I say array append a colors orange, I will end up with a fourth index and the fourth index will be the orange color. Now I can do also array prepend which adds a value which adds a, another index at the beginning of the array. So if I say array prepend a colors orange, I will end up with an a color array with four index, but orange will be the first index and the other indexes will be shifted one down, two will be red, three will be green, and four will be blue. I also have array insert at to insert a new value in the array at the specified location. And I have a very practical function called array len to return the length of an array to return the number of indexes that you have in an array. Now, Cold fusion arrays have some special characteristics as compared to arrays in other languages. Cold fusion arrays are indexed at 1. This means that the first data in an array has the index number 1 and that differs from most other languages. In most other languages, the first element of an array has the index 0, including in JavaScript. So if you are programming an Ajax application with cold fusion on the server and JavaScript on the front end, on the client, that might lead to some confusion because the arrays in JavaScript will be indexed at 0 and the arrays in cold fusion will be indexed at 1. Also, cold fusion arrays expand and contract dynamically, so no empty spots are left behind. And that also differs from a lot of other languages. So in cold fusion, when you remove an index from an array, the array is automatically contracted so that there is no empty spot in the array. In other languages, for example in Java, when you delete an index from an array, an empty spot is left behind and you have to manually contract that array in Java. Here in Cold Fusion, Cold Fusion will do that automatically for you. So if you are already into programming using other languages, keep those things in mind. If you are new to programming, you probably don't worry much. Of course, we have a lot more array functions to be found in the Cold Fusion 2016 online documentation. So of course, I encourage you to view that documentation online and to take a look at the other functions that we did not talk about in this in this video. For us in the next video we will do some more experiments using arrays.